So hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on C++ and this video is about like writing your own unique pointer class. So this is a very famous interview question. So it's going to be very interesting. So yeah. So the first thing you should uh, note down that the unique pointer class is going to be a template class because you can give any object to that unique pointer class so that it will wrap on that object, right? So in order to do that, you have to make your class unique pointer class as template. So this is first point. And you just need this statement, I mean this data member so that you can store that pointer, that object and wrap it using this data member. And this T is going to be the type, whatever the object type you're wrapping. And this is your constructor. This is a fairly simple constructor. You are just going to initialize this P into this pointer. That's it. And the destructor, it's just simply deleting this pointer. That's it. And the important points are like, you will delete the copy operation. So you have to delete, I mean, or make these two functions private. So this delete is a new syntax. You can either assign these functions as delete so that compiler will know that, okay, you're not allowed to do these operations and you have to give move constructor. So this is a unique pointer, right? So copy is not allowed, but move is allowed. So this is the selling point of this whole class. I mean, when you are writing, this has to be implemented. So if you're not implementing this, then the whole purpose is kind of defeated. So this is important function. And we have this move assignment operator. This is important function. And we have these two overloaded, I mean, operator overloaded function. They are also important. You cannot miss them because this operator is when you actually want the pointer and this operator will be used when you actually want the object. I mean, the actual object, what this pointer is pointing to. So these two are like overloaded operator and this you cannot miss here. You, you cannot just return the object type itself. You have to return the reference of that, meaning you are referring to the actual object. So if you are telling, give me, I mean, I want to refer to the actual object. You cannot just return the copy of that. You have to return the reference of that. Otherwise, if you're not doing this reference return, it will make a copy of that and then return. So it's not the same thing here. And this is for Boolean checking. Like once you moved, I mean, this I just added just for the fun. I'll show you where I'm using it. Okay. So that's it. I mean, you don't need more than this. I mean, if I'm there, I'll be happy with this class. Now let's go for the test demo class. So this is our demo object, what we will be wrapping using unique pointer class. And now this is the driver function. We have main function. So I have taken two examples. One is move constructor and another one is move assignment operator. So it'll be easy for us to understand this whole unique pointer class. Okay. So let's see. And yeah, let me just run this. Yeah. So this is the output. So this move will end up calling the move constructor. Okay. It is not going to call a uh, move assignment operator because we are constructing the object and simultaneously moving it. Okay. So in that case, move constructor is called. And if this case is observed, we already had this object constructed. We already had this object constructed. Now we are moving. Then this case is called to the move assignment operator. So this is very basic, I know. And yeah, this is that place where I told, uh, yeah, so this for checking if empty unique pointer is there, meaning you move this unique pointer one to unique pointer two. Now you can check if this unique pointer one exists or not. I mean, is there any pointer associated to this unique pointer? So for this, I have implemented this Boolean overloaded function, which will check if our object is pointing to any pointer or it is pointing to null. Okay. So that's why after moving, it is telling, see, unique pointer one is empty. If I will check here, if up one, sorry, two, I can do the same thing for this. See out up two is, and if I'll compile this and if I'll run this, no, say it is not empty. If I will remove this negation and print UD is not empty. Yeah. Then 
and let to compile again and then I'll run this oh yeah I just forgot to save this file and I'll compile so yeah now you can see up2 is not empty okay so I, I mean I had to waste like two three minutes to identify that what is the problem here actually I don't know why my auto save is not working okay so yeah this is fine now let's go for move assignment operator we have two pointers and then we used move unique pointer 3 to unique pointer 4 in that case yeah you have to remove unique pointer 4 data first so see we have this check if source and destinations are not equal in that case you will just delete the source i mean destination pointer because it is already having some pointer with it so you'll first delete that so this is called cleanup and then you will initialize the right hand side like the source pointer to the destination pointer and source pointer will now be initialized to null pointer okay this is very important step don't miss this otherwise you will uh, end up having two pointers to the same uh, two different object i mean same pointers to the different unique pointers so this is a very important step and again you will return this pointer meaning the same reference so that if object chaining is required if you don't know what is object chaining don't worry i have a video for that so if object chaining is required this can be done using that okay so if you are returning the object reference i mean the actual object because you are referring to that object in that case you have to return the reference in order to make it point to the actual object itself otherwise if you're not using this reference here again it will make a copy and the whole purpose will be defeated yeah so that's it uh, let me run this one more time yeah so this is the final output and at the end if you notice we have this printed and after that this destructions are happening okay so demo is destroyed like two times here because we had already removed i mean deleted this when we moved here so we only have two objects two demo objects alive by the time you reach here which is what you move from up3 to up4 so up3 is i mean up4 is holding up3 so that is one object and this move so that's why two and you see four destructors are called so these destructors are for actually your unique pointer because you have one two three four four unique pointers okay so that's it if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching guys and yeah if you are happy with this put a like in the comment section and press the like button thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care